I know that recently I've been making a lot of videos on this topic, but I will continue to make them for as long as there is a need for them, because a lot of you still can't seem to figure out how to quit porn, how to escape your porn addiction. And of course, this video is for those of you who are struggling from that addiction, but you could use all of the tips that I give you to escape all of the other addictions, or maybe to start a diet, or even sometimes to build new habits, new healthy habits. So that's why, it doesn't matter if you are addicted to porn, or if you have some other addiction, maybe social media, or video games, whatever it is, keep watching, and if you implement those tips that I'll share with you, you find it way easier to overcome your addictions and to feel free, to be really free, not like abstaining from video games or social media or porn for a month and then going back to your previous habits. So buckle up and listen carefully. The first thing you gotta do is you gotta identify the triggers, what causes the urge. For example, if you wanna watch porn, what causes the urge, what must happen in order for you to feel like, mm, I wanna watch porn, let me watch porn. and Usually, it's either boredom or loneliness, depression sometimes, anxiety. You just gotta identify what causes it. And after you identify it, again, it's the same if you have a social media addiction. Is it because you are bored or something else? So, once you've identified this trigger, make sure to do something to prevent it. The first time, maybe you'll fail. But I want you to write down what caused it. What feelings were there that made you feel like this? So write them down and for example if it's boredom, maybe next time when I have the urge to yourself, oh I'm feeling bored, so let me do something else, hopefully productive, so that I can keep my mind busy, occupied with other stuff that's preferably productive and healthy, so I can not think of porn or again whatever it is. Of course, now I gotta tell you that in order for you to be able to catch those thoughts, it would take some time and practice. And if you have been practicing meditation recently, which I hope you have, it would be easier for you to catch those thoughts, to realize what they are. So make sure if you haven't already, make sure to start practicing mindfulness. I don't care what it is and for how long. Like it could be five minutes, if you want it could be 30 minutes. Just meditate and don't be one of those people who say, well I don't know which meditation is the best so I'm gonna just wait around and maybe I'll look for some meditation, see what the best meditation practices are. No, just start, whatever it is. You can download an app with meditations and literally click the first one or you could type in YouTube meditation practices or bread exercises and literally click, click the first one. The main point is to do it. And honestly, if you haven't been doing this for a while or maybe at all, I want you to stop and meditate for five minutes. You don't even have to listen to anything. Just literally take off your headphones, lay, da lay down or maybe sit down somewhere and meditate. Next up, I want you to realize something that's really important. And if you realize this, it would be easier for you to overcome all of the urges that you have. So the main point is that there are two main types, two parts, two main parts of the brain. And those parts are the feeling part and the reasonable mind. Usually, when I have an urge, it's caused by the feeling part of your brain. And if you've been meditating for a while, again, you'll be able to catch those thoughts. In your reasonable mind, your rational mind, will try to intervene. It will try to reason with the feeling mind, trying to convince it that you shouldn't do it, it's not healthy for you, and so on and so on. And it, it will keep doing this. But your feeling part of the brain is stronger. So after a while, you've probably found yourself like trying to reason with yourself, trying to convince yourself that you shouldn't do it. And after a while, you just give up, give in to your urges and start to reason why you should do it. So you don't feel worse after that. And the way you prevent this from happening, the way you stop it, is you gotta use your rational mind. You gotta make it use feelings in order to convince the feeling mind. For example, again, if you want to fap, if you want to watch porn, you gotta use your rational mind and say, hey, okay, I know feeling, I know your feeling mind and I know that you want to fap now, but think how bad you feel after that. Do you think it's really worth it to feel this much worse just for a couple of seconds of pleasure? And leave this, you feel bad the entire day or maybe even if you are on a longer streak for the entire week sometimes. So don't do it, there is no reason. Or even better, you could use it. Well, I know you want you to fap, I, want you to, I know you want you to feel good about yourself for a while, 
but after that you feel bad and think think of how good you feel knowing after a couple of hours that you were able to overcome this urge knowing that you're the one in control and you're not being dragged around by your impulses so that's how you stop those massive urges again you can use it always but it's really helpful especially with those massive urges so guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope it helped you i hope you learned something new leave a like and subscribe if you did and i'll see you in tomorrow's episode